Berkat Yahweh, Berkat Yahweh Shai, Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Hakodesh, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barachah Hakodesh means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Matate from Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet, but I want to go along the, um, the lines of, um, you know, uh, the heart's desire. You know, and when you go into that word, what desire means, let's just go to the etymology of it. Desire, it says to wish or long for, express a wish to obtain, wish, desire, long for, long for, wish for, demand, expect, <laughs> you know, um, that's a heavy one, expect, you know, it, it makes me think of the expectation, you know, and that expectation lines up with hope, right, let me just prove that. This is um, Psalms 9 and 18. It's a good one. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. The expectation is the Hebrew word thakwawah. Thakwawaha, thakwawah. And it says cord, hope, or expectation, or hope, or ground of hope. <laughs> right? And it says cord because it's something we're attached to. <clears throat> something we're joined to. You see, like it speaks about um how Yahweh Shah is the anchor of our soul, man. He holds us down, you know. He's that court, he's that 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 line we're attached to, right? But it's Psalm 62 and 5, my soul wait thou only upon the most high, for my expectation, same word, is from him. Proverbs 10 and 28, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 11 and 7, when a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish and the hope of unjust men perisheth. You know, so showing you that expectation, our desire is our hope. It's Proverbs 23 and 18. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up on this. Verse 17, let not your heart envy sinners, be, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai all the day long. For surely there is an end in thy expectation Thy hope, thy desire shall not be cut off, man. You know? So now I'm going to get into the lesson. It's starting off in the book of uh, Psalms, the 27th chapter, in the fourth verse. It says, one thing have I desired. Keep in mind, desired is, is a hope, <laughs> you know? When you go into that word desire, it's the Hebrew word sha'al, sha'ala, sha'al. Which says to ask, inquire, borrow, or beg, to inquire, um, to ask, to inquire, to beg, to be given on request, to grant, or give, or lend on request, right? To demand, to ask, to beg, or borrow. So our desire is what we're asking of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. The hope that we have within ourselves that's going to be given us if we endure unto the end. This is the book of Psalms 27 and 4. One thing have I desired of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai that will I seek after. And that's the key thing. If we desire certain things, we should be seeking after those things, you know. And when you go into that word seek after, it's the Hebrew word bakwash. Require, desire, <laughs> you see, exact request to seek to find, to seek to secure. To seek the face, and we, we seek in the face of the Lord. Matter of fact, I believe it's still in this Psalms 27. Let me see down. Yep. Verse 8. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart, meaning in my mind, said unto thee, thy face, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, will I seek. And that's the, and it's this knowledge, man. You know, it speaks about in the face of Yahweh Shai. Let me let's see if I can find that out.
2 Corinthians 4 and 6, For the Most High who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. So us seeking the Most High's face is us seeking his knowledge. It's us seeking his presence. In the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter says, Cast me not out of thy presence. When you look up the word presence, it's the Hebrew word panyam, which means face. Or panya. Panyam is face is. It makes it plural. You know? So that word presence and face is synonymous. And how are we in the presence? How are we in the face of our Heavenly Father? It's through our Lord Yahweh Shah, because he's the only one that was worthy to uh, uh, be within his presence. You know, roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> Right, so let's scroll back up. Psalms 27 and 4. One thing have I desired of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple, man. <laughs> That's a desire. And it's something he said he was seeking after. And it's the same uh, mentality we must have within this walk of ours. Right? Because I'm, I'm going to hold it there. Salakia. I'm going to hold it there and grab this in the book of Sirach. It's Sirach 15 and 17. It says, before man is life and death. And, and life is what's being presented us in the form of this knowledge. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 8. Let me get straight to the point. Verse 33, it says, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You see? So that's why, you know, this lesson is entitled The Heart's Desire. Because each and every last one of our desires are, are going to be made manifest. So what is our desire? This is the book of Sirach 15 and 17 again. Before man is life and death and whether him liketh shall be given him. And our actions starts within our spirit. The way we think, the way we reason, which turns into words, which turns into actions, which turns into to, to habits. That's going to reflect what we like, <laughs> whether it's death or whether it's life. You see, let's go back. Psalms. 27 and 4 again one thing have i desired of yahweh basham yahweh shai that will i seek after that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to acquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he see, see those that desire that and seek after that right are going to be protected for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me upon a rock going back into what the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off man the lord is going to grant us our desire he's going to grant us our hope <laughs> right and in and, and this desire this hope it can't be faked either man you know it can't be faked you see from there let's go to um psalms the 84th chapter this is Psalms 84 and 1. It says to the chief musician upon Giddeth, a psalm for the sons of Korah. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Lord of hosts. When you go into that word amiable, it's Yayad, which means beloved. So how beloved is the Lord's tabernacles, man? And, and, and what's that? That's this knowledge. This is within we dwell. You know? It's going to exp explain it. Verse 2. My soul longeth, yea, even feigneth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living power, man. So it says it longeth. It go, that long goes back into a yearn, right? Goes into a desire as we read down here in the Strong's definition. It's a desire. It's an expectation that we have, man. We're yearning for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, and once again, it, this can't be faked. You know, because it's going to reflect in the decision making. It's going to reflect in, in in our speech. That's why it speaks about uh, uh, commend not a man before thou hearest him speak. But also, not only the speaks, but 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 what what follows that speech is action. As it says another precept in Sirach that you got a guy that's profitable unto others, but he's not profitable unto himself. 
So that's a guy that's an actor. That's a guy that's faking. His desire is not to serve Yahweh while Yahweh shot. His desire is not longing for the courts, for these precepts, for this knowledge. From there, let's jump back to the 42nd chapter in Psalms. Psalms 42 and 1. To the chief musician, Mascal, for the sons of Korah, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O power. My soul thirsted for the Most High, for the living power. When shall I come and appear before the Most High, man? So this is, 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 is what we're yearning for. And in order to appear before the Heavenly Father, guess what? We got to be found right in his sight. What did, what did Yahweh Shah tell us? This is the book of Luke. Chapter 21. And verse 36, it says, watch ye and in, in, I'm sorry, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. Let's get that word. Judge worthy to and deem entirely deserving, man, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. So Peter further elaborated that part unto us right this is the book of um second peter three i started 12 looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the heavenly father meaning we're yearning for it right wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, man. Worthy to stand before him, man. And it starts within his knowledge as being renewed in our mind, which is going to translate into our speech, which is going to translate to our actions, which is going to turn into habits, man. Daily habits that we must develop uh, within this walk of ours, man, that are pleasing unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, and these are the things that we that we yearn for, that we long for, man. <laughs> you know, those who are truly sincere, those who who truly have the uh, uh, that hope within themselves, as it is written in First John, the third chapter, speaks about beloved. You know how you know we're called the sons of God. Roughly paraphrasing. And it says, we don't know how Yahweh Shah uh, is, but we shall be like him when he appear, you know, and every man that have that self with that have that hope within it, man, I just butchered it. I should have just been went and grabbed it. Salakia. J quote game be atrocious. This is the book of uh, first John three and one. It says, behold, what manner of love the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the most high. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of the heavenly father and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. This is the point. And every man that hath this hope in himself purifieth in himself, even as he is pure, man. So if we have this hope within ourselves, man. That hope is what purifies us. And, and what purifies us is the word. So our hope in this word is what keeps us pure. It's what keeps us on point. Which goes back into us desiring these things, man. Desiring the courts of the Lord. Crying out for the tabernacles. It's the book of Psalms. 119. And once again, it can't be faked either. You know? It, it, it can't be faked. Guys who don't have a yearning for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, it will be made manifest. It's the book of Psalms. 119 and 131 it says i opened my mouth and panted for i longed for thy commandments look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou used to do unto those that love thy name order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me deliver me from the oppression of man so will i keep thy precepts Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes, man. And once again, this is the mentality, right? That that that, that we have to have, man. 
you see why guys read these things so, so they can be looked at as some type of uh, great teacher, some type of great leader, whatever the hell. We read these things, man, and, and, and hope to embody these things because these are the things that's pleasing unto the heavenly father. This is what he expects. You know. When he looked down on the earth, this is what he hopes to see within his sons. And may Yahweh Basham Yahweh keep his Holy Spirit and keep this mindset upon us, right? Because from there, let's go to the book of Sirach. Let's go to the 23rd chapter and let's start at the top. It says, O Lord, Father and Governor of all my whole life, leave me not to their counsels and let me not fall by them. Now, what is he speaking about? Now, when you jump back a chapter and you read the last verse, it says, who shall set a watch before my mouth and a seal of wisdom upon my lips that I fall not suddenly by them and that my tongue destroy me not. So that he don't be loose with his lips. And it starts with what? It starts with scourges or wisdom over the mind. Let's jump back. Sirach 23 verse two. So now we know what he's uh, praying to the Lord about. Right. It says, let me not fall to their counsel and let me not fall by them. Verse two. Who will set scourges over my thoughts in the discipline of wisdom over my heart that they spare me not for my ignorances and it pass not by my sins. You see. So that if I have a, a, a wicked thought, a precept can pop in my mind and be like, nope, that was wrong. Salaki, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? You see. Like, like as it is written, man, it says a, a wise man knoweth when he slippeth roughly paraphrasing. And that's the point we want to get to. You know, and guess what? We're not going to catch everything, which is why there's a brotherhood. Which is why starting with the apostles on down, these videos are being put forth. You know, we have a, a fellowship within our own perspective camps, <laughs> you know, communication within the brothers. It's all for what? For correction, for edification, for the edifying of the body. Verse three. Lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction and I fall before my adversaries and my enemy rejoice over me whose hope, I'm sorry, whose hope is far from thy mercy. The enemy starting with Esau, Edom, his hope is not in the mercy of the Lord. And even trickling down to his spirit being upon two thirds of our people here in America, they're not hoping in the mercy of the Lord, man. They're looking for our downfall. They're rejoicing. You know, uh, hoping that we fall, that we meet uh, a misfortune, right? But verse four, O Lord, Father and power of my life, give me not a proud look, but turn away from thy servants always a haughty mind. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. And that's the key point right there, man. Because if we're desirous, if we're desiring and longing for the, 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 the Lord's courts, if we're desirous to serve the Lord, he's going to hold us up, man. He's going to hold us firm. It is he that strengtheneth us. That gives us the spirit of discernment, that gives us the spirit of wisdom, that gives us the spirit of endurance, so forth and so on. Verse six, let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind man you see so this is the mentality we should have these are prayers that we should be sending up because these things are beneficial man a, a, a for our salvation this is the knowledge which 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 going to get us there as it is written in wisdom of solomon in the sixth chapter man it says wisdom bring it to a kingdom therefore if if if, if um your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. So we have to desire this word, man. And when you desire something, man, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> you know, nothing can stop you if you got that true desire, that true hope, that true longing. So, Lord, will I hope this was edifying to Wadi Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, for giving me spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barachah, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity of and charity. Shalom.